Okay, and this is where it gets really interesting. So we're going to build our very first Forge app. Forge is installed, development site is set up, and um, here it is. I'm looking at my development site and I'm looking at Jira. And what we have, the first thing we need to do is with Forge is to log in because we need to be authenticated to be using Forge. So we're going to say Forge login. And uh, for privacy reasons, I'm going to just use a uh, fake email address here for a minute. Um, in a minute, I'm going to actually going to log me in off screen. So Mickey at mouse.com as my email address. And now we need an API token. So how do you get an API token? There's two ways of getting them. You can either go straight to this link here, or I also wanted to show you that you can always find this from your user account settings. So you just click on your user icon up here, account settings, security, and then you have API tokens here, create and manage API tokens. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new API token which is Forge, let's call it Forge Development. We create it, we copy it. And by the way, once you close this, you cannot see or copy this API token again. This is a once off action. So you have to use the token um, or you know save it somewhere if you need to. But in, in general, you don't need to because you can always generate a new one as well. But and this is the only time that can do this. So I've copied it now. What you do is you paste it here and then you log in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video for a second, pause the recording for a second, actually log me in, and then we'll carry on from there. Excellent. So I'm logged in now. Uh, the next thing we, we can do now is we can create our very first app. So what we do is we just say forge create. And then it takes us through a bit of a wizard. So let's call it um, uh, first app. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a template. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a UI kit template. And I'm going to explain that later, what UI kit is and what a custom UI is. Um, and, you know, what, what the difference between the two things is. But I'm going to use a UI kit template. So let's say select that. You just use DM the cursor keys to select it and it's for confluence and let's make it a Jira project page for example something simple so we do that so it's now doing a number of things and this is where I really need to start explaining a few things so it's downloaded the template for this app and it's now registered uh, uh, generated some code here for you as well but if also it's also registered the app with Atlassian and he has created three environments with Atlassian for this app now. A development, a staging, and a production environment. What that means is development is, as we're going through it, you know, we're just writing something new, we're using the development environment. Staging environment is when we're just ready to release this to the user base, our customers and everybody. We move it over into staging, and production is the latest released version that all of our customers are currently using. Those are the three environments for apps. For the next little while, you know, the foreseeable future in this in this course, actually, we're going to be using the development environment. But you need to be aware that there are three. And also, this now means, you know, if, if you've used Connect before, with Connect, this is different. At this point, it hasn't actually done anything with Connect. Here, it's actually registered this app with Atlassian. It has a unique identifier and is registered with Atlassian. I'm going to show you that now. Because if I go to developer.atlassian.com slash console, it will take me to the developer console. I'm already logged in, so the authorization should just go through. And here you can see first app up there. It's actually registered with Atlassian already. How good is that? Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to deploy it. So what we have here is we have first app. Let's change directory to first app. So I'm now in that directory. We have the first app and it's generated some code. Uh, and by the way, in the next module, I'll explain what this code means and we'll go through all of these different elements in here. 
But right now, I'll just take it as read. There's some code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say forge deploy. What this does is it deploys this code. It builds the code and deploys it into the development environment. Here it is, deploying your app to development. And the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to install it in um, my uh, development instance, my development site. So we're going to say forge install. What we're going to do is we're going to install it in Jira. And my development side, site is called muscledev.atlassian.net. And it says your app will be installed with the following scopes. We'll talk about scopes later as well. At the moment, you don't need to, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, and I want to continue. And it's now installing the app to development, uh, to, um, to, uh, to my development site. So if I go here now, where's my uh, development site? Here it is. So this is um, Jira I'm looking at. I go to settings, apps. I select manage apps from the left. And in a minute, we should see first app installed here. There it is, first app development. It's a development version of it. Fantastic, that's really good. So what we've now generated is a project page. So let's go to a project and actually have a look at this. So I have a project here, project test. What we've generated is a project page. And as you can see, there it is down there, first app. And it don't think it says very much. It just says, hello world. So we've done it. We have now logged in with Forge. We have created our first app. We've deployed it into the Atlassian environment. And then we've installed it on our development site instance of Jira. So here's the app. It's actually working, it's actually doing something. And then next module, what I will do is I will describe how this first app actually works.